Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial. In this um, video series, we we'll dive into what makes containers so special and how they are used in the context of Kubernetes. So what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open source technology developed by Google with the goal of making the orchestration of containerized application easier. Uh, in simple word, it's a container orchestration too. So as you can see, containers from the foundation of Kubernetes technology. So if you want to learn Kubernetes, it is important to understand what containers are and why they are used. In this video series, we'll talk about container concepts and one of its popular implementation, Docker. We also discuss what containers are and what problem they solve. We'll also look at container repository, which is essentially a storage for containers. This will kind of like help us to understand how containers make the development process more efficient and how they solve some of the problems that we encounter during the deployment of application. So let's dive in into what containers are. Uh, containers have become a popular way to package and deploy um, applications. They are key uh, components of Kubernetes and containers are lightweight way to package and isolate applications and their dependencies. And um, containers, each container is run in its own isolated environment, which help ensure that the application can run consistently across uh, various environments such as development and testing. And this makes the development process easier. So uh, in later uh, in this video, we we'll talk more about uh, containers, but before that, Let's look at where containers live. So the question becomes, where can I find a container? So we can find container um, using container repository. It's a place for storing and managing containers um, images. Container repositories can be private or public. And they are used to distribute and share containers between teams and organizations and individuals. And um, container repository can also act as a pre-built library that can easily be pulled and deployed. And they can be used in environments such as uh, Kubernetes. Example of popular container repositories are Docker Hub, Google Container, Amazon, Elastic Container Registry. So let's dive in and see how our uh, docker hub works all right so let's head over to docker hub so the first website here is the docker hub official website and um, so over here you're required to create an account with them but we won't go into this now so let's see so we over here we have over 100,000 container images which have been uh, published in the Docker uh, official website. And some of these images, these are some of the popular uh, images we use for our everyday uh, applications. So, but over here in Docker, we have actually different images of which we're going, um, going to pay attention to, you know, the first two here. So we have the Docker official images. We have images from verified publishers. And we have uh, the sponsored images. So the Docker official images, these are images that are actually published by Docker themselves. And uh, why for the verified uh, um, images? So, uh, for example, we have uh, over here, we have the Doco CR advisor. This is uh, an image that is being published by Google themselves okay so over here if you search for uh redis you know so we have uh unofficial docker images of unofficial uh redis image that has been published by docker how does containers improve the development process before containers developers actually face several challenges in their development process and some of the major uh, problem they face included 
long setup time for a uh, development environment because then setting up the dev environment in, uh, requires a lot of libraries and uh, dependencies and this was actually time consuming and often resulted in um, different delays and so as a result of that it brought about uh, uh, inconsistency in development um, environment because different developers have different systems some use Mac some use Linux and as a result of this different system there were some inconsistency in the different uh, environments and that actually brought about uh, the problem of of moving application from one from development to uh, production because you hear things like oh um, it works in my system but it's not working in the production environment so the transition from development to production was often challenging as there were uh, you know discrepancies between the development and the production environment so because the developer can develop on using a mac system but the production environment could be a linux environment so this was related to compatibility issues and unexpected behavior uh, in the production uh, environment so another issue was the complex uh, management of dependencies and library because uh, managing dependencies and library was a complex task in the first place as different applications require um, different versions of libraries and dependencies. So keeping track of all these dependencies and ensuring that they were up to date was a major uh, problem. So because of these challenges, the development process became very slower, less efficient, and more prone while leading to increased time in marketing and it actually um, decreased our uh, productivity. So now let's see how does containers improve this um, process. So after um, containers, um, you know, after containers, there were a lot of changes to how um, these work. So now, gen uh, developers can enjoy a faster and more consistent um, development process and firstly so it's quick and it's consistent setup of development environment with pre-built containers so it has um, a about about faster setup times uh, containers allow developer to set up a uh, development environment quickly and this eliminates the need for manual installation and configuration reducing setup time from hours to um, minutes all you just have to do is just use your docker call uh, do the docker uh, install and you install the right container that you need and it comes with all pre-built uh, dependencies so consistent the next one was it's it brought about consistent development environment so with containers uh the same environment is used for development testing and production this eliminates the compatibility issues and ensure that application run uh, smoothly across different stage of the uh, development process so another um thing that uh, containers did was it brought about easy and efficient application development okay so with that uh, the container uh, image encapsulates the entire application and its dependency making it to uh, easy to deploy the same image in different uh, environment and finally it brought about um, simplified dependency management so containers allow developers to manage uh, dependencies and library in a centralized manner and this kind of like eliminates the need to manually manage dependencies on different um, system ensuring that um, the same version of libraries are used across all stages of the um, development uh, process. So with these containers have naturally transformed the development process by providing a faster setup time and these have brought about high quality and um, faster application and it kind of like reduce a lot of issues that we were having before containers. So before the introduction of containers, the development process had several challenges and issues. And one of the biggest challenges was the long setup time for deployment environment. And this was basically due to the manual and time consuming process of setting up each environment, which often, which often resulted to like inconsistencies. And this caused compatibility issues, making it difficult for 
uh, to move applications from development to production. Another challenge was the complex management of dependencies and libraries and the lack of standardization in Another challenge was the complex management of dependencies and libraries. The lack of standardization in deployment process made it difficult to manage and maintain the necessary components and uh, dependencies for each application. And this kind of like created um, confusion and added to the overall time and effort required um, to deploy application. Additionally, the um, scalability of application was um, limited and it was difficult to manage the resources required for the uh, for deployment, this resulted in poor uh, resource utilization and increased cost. And uh, furthermore, like um, some of the lack of security and the solution of application was also um, a major concern, making it difficult to um, ensure the integrity and safety of the deployed application. How was the deployment process after containers? Containers have revolutionize the way applications are deployed and managed. Um, the key benefits of using containers um, in, in, in the deployment includes um, faster and more um, consistent deployment. You know, containers allow for more faster and consistent deployment of applications. This is because containers are saved contained units that include all the necessary dependencies, um, libraries, configuration, making deployment faster and more consistent. You know, another reason is improved resource utilization leading to like a cost save, uh, cost saving. This is because containers share the host operating system and this kind of like reduce the overhead of running multiple um, virtual machines. Another reason why or why containers are more efficient is because they brought about isolation and security of application and this kind of eliminates the risk of one application affecting the stability or the security of another you know another um, important uh, uh, key benefit of containers is that it brought about easy scaling and management of application and uh, this is because containers can easily be created, deployed, and managed as a group, making it simple to scale and manage application. Another benefit of containers is that it brought about improved collaboration and sharing between things. You know, containers images can be stored in the central repository which makes it easy for teams to share and collaborate on applications. You know, it brought about a uh, disaster recovery and rolling updates. You know, with containers, you know, it's easy uh, to uh, make a uh, disaster recovery and run the updates uh, in case of um, a disaster container can be quick to restore from your backup and rolling updates can be performed without any so containers are compatible and they are portable meaning that they can be deployed across different environments and platform without the need for modification this makes deployment easier and more efficient thank you for watching that video um i'd just like to let you know we have a quiz for this video in the description so um, you can use that to solidify your knowledge on what you just learned and secondly if you have any questions or feedback please kindly drop that in the comment section and please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell just to make sure you get all the latest videos from this channel thank you